everyone needs a summer watch. After all, any excuse to buy a new watch is a good excuse, right? I like to buy a new summer watch every year. Sometimes they don't even last past the summer, but occasionally they capture your heart and remind you of that great summer you once had. And with what feels like the hottest summer we've ever had in the UK, I cannot think of a better time to do a review of such a fun watch. Today, I have the brand new release from the micro brand Phoebus, and it's a proper summer dazzler. So pour yourself a tasty cocktail and pull out your speedos and sunglasses because today we're taking a look at the perfect summer watch. Let's get started. Let's first take a look at the history of Phoebus because it's actually a very interesting story. The Phoebus watch brand was founded in China in 2016. Founders Ethan and Emily took a trip to Greece in 2014, attracted to the country for its rich history and beautiful architecture. The couple were inspired by the visit, so decided to to name their new watch brand after the memorable trip. The name Phoebus comes from ancient Greek mythology, after the god of light and sun. The meaning of Phoebus is bright, which is a great match with the watches that they produce. Phoebus offers a full two-year warranty with every watch purchase, with them even having a service centre in the United States. The Phoebus team has now expanded beyond just the founding couple, with a team of professionals all working towards bringing the customer great, unique timepieces. Okay, now let's actually get into the watch and see if it's any good. The unboxing experience is pleasant, nothing fancy or over the top, just your standard watch box and pillow. You do get a warranty card though, with as mentioned earlier a two year warranty. The model we have here in studio today is the new 2023 Phoebus Reefmaster reference PY047A. I believe that this is a model range that Phoebus has actually been creating for a number of years now, with the same design being replicated throughout its lifespan with upgrades and slight variations. Phoebus is clearly a watch brand that specialises in creating dive watches, with most of their catalogue featuring high water resistance ratings. This Reefmaster is exactly that, a genuine dive watch with 200 metres of water resistance. If you don't like the green dial, fear not, there are plenty of other dial colour options. The new Reefmaster comes in white, grey, black and my personal favourite, the yellow and green variants. All models feature slight differences in detail but the exact same specifications. More on this later though. Okay, let's move on to the wearing dimensions. Because although it is a larger watch, the wearing experience may somewhat surprise you. The Reefmaster comes in with a 42mm case diameter, which is the limit on what I personally consider for a dive watch with my smaller wrist. However, although the case is large, the 48mm lug to lug helps the comfort, meaning that this is a visually large watch on wrist, but wears closer to a 40mm watch. The thickness is one of my main issues with this piece, coming in at 14mm. It does feature a dome crystal though so this is partially excused. On my six and a half inch wrist the watch wears well, very similar to the Orient Kamasu in fact. It gives you that big watch look without having to carry around a kettlebell on your wrist. Next let's take a deep dive into the specifications of the watch and check out what materials are being used. The Reefmaster comes in a full 316L stainless steel construction including a signed screw down crown and case back aiding the 200 meters water resistance. The watch has solid end links, solid links and a milled double lock clasp. The bracelet has a H-link construction, which conforms to the wrist nicely. The lug width on the piece is 22mm, so plenty of strap options with this ticker. We have a double domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the underside. The unidirectional dive time bezel is made from ceramic and features 120 clicks. One of the most impressive parts of the Reefmaster is the loom, featuring 15 layers of BGW9 on the indices and bezel markings. Then we have C-Freeze Super Lumen Over on the hands and hour mark. The heart of this ticker is the Seiko NH38. This is a genuine no date automatic movement, meaning we have no ghost date position when setting the time. This is a top tier spec sheet, featuring all the best possible materials on an entry level watch. Okay, enough about the boring specifications. Let's talk about the most interesting part of the Reefmaster, that being the beautiful striking dial. One feature I always appreciate on a watch is a sandwich style dial. This is when the loom is set beneath the dial rather than on top. You get a couple of benefits with this type of construction. Firstly, the loom tends to be a lot brighter with this style of application, allowing for more loom to glow through the cutouts. Secondly, it's an added level of detail. I like it when a watch has different depths rather than a flat dial construction. The detail doesn't stop here though. All Reefmaster models come with a textured dial. This is a grain effect which makes the dial look incredibly interesting, but you do get a more flat finish around the hour markers to make them stand out. On three of the models, you get a 
lovely pop of colour with the orange minute hand, which I always like on a summer style watch like this. I imagine rocking up to the beach wearing the Reef Master in my tighty whitey swimming trunks enjoying life to the fullest. So the watch is made from great materials and has a unique and interesting dial. But how is the build quality and the finishing of the Reef Master? Well, I'm happy to say that the quality is good. The construction feels tough and rugged. I don't feel any rattle with the end links or bracelet. It feels incredibly solid. The bezel doesn't have any bounce back either. I'm in fact very impressed with the bezel action on this ticker. Distinguished clicks with a nice responsive feel. The crown has a good grip, same with the bezel. The finishing is utilitarian. The clasp, bracelet, case sides and upper lugs are all brushed. However, we do see polished folded lugs, similar to what you'd see on some Omega models for example. I like the finishing of this watch. It will last for a while without showing scratches. And those polished lugs shouldn't really take much damage. One thing I massively respect is when watch brands take risks with their designs. They don't copy Rolex, Omega or any other popular watch brand, but instead they go out on their own to create something unique. This is the case with Phoebus. It seems like everything they make is totally original and designed by themselves. You do see hints of inspiration like the lugs and hands, but the majority of the watch feels unique. I think they've done a good job here of blending the unique design ideas all together at once. It's refreshing to see a Chinese watch brand opting to create original watches. There's a lot of money to be made in making Submariner clomages. So when a brand like Phoebus is taking risks like this, I support it fully. Okay, 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 I've said enough good things about this watch now. What don't I like about the Reefmaster? Well, personally, I'd have liked to see a slightly thicker bezel. The dial to bezel ratio, in my opinion, is slightly off, which makes the watch look even bigger on the wrist. It would have been very cool to see an extra level of height on the dial, maybe with an applied logo, for example. This would mean that the watch had three levels of depth, which would take this watch up another level, in my opinion. The watch can occasionally feel a bit top heavy, meaning I choose to wear the watch snug rather than loose. I feel like this watch would have really benefited from a flat sapphire to reduce the height of the watch, because when you pop it on a NATO strap, it sits at over 15 millimeters, which is getting a bit too thick in my opinion. I am nitpicking with these negatives though. I feel like the design and construction is coherent and works well. Finally, let's discuss the price of the watch and some other summer style dive watches that you might want to pick up. Basically, what's its competition? So the Reefmaster retails for 335 euros, but if you use the code EB55 at checkout, you get a nice 55 euros off the watch, bringing it down to 280. The deal is only available for one month after the release of this video. This isn't an affiliate code or anything, don't worry. I don't make any money from this review. I just get to keep the watch that Phoebus has sent to me. Okay, so what else might you get for around $300? Well, the Orient Kamasu springs to mind with tons of dial options. Although the Reefmaster is definitely built a lot better. Seiko also offers a lot of divers around this price. Again, though, you don't get all of the premium materials. The Reefmaster is definitely a standout model for me in the genre, considering the original design, top tier materials and flamboyant use of colors. This is definitely a summer banger. Remember to check out TopTierTicker.com for the very best in affordable, pre-owned and discontinued watches. Link is in the description. If you liked this video and fancy learning about some cool new watches, be sure to watch my video here on screen on 10 affordable titanium watches that are crazy good.